Veterans Day is tomorrow, uh, which sort of makes this Veterans Week. And on this Veterans Day, Veterans Week, uh, spare a particular thought for Republican Senator Jim DeMint of South Carolina. Uh, not because he's a veteran, uh, I, don't, I don't think that he is, but because, um, rather, Jim DeMint apparently has a frigging problem. Uh, today on Capitol Hill, there was a vote on a hiring bill for our nation's veterans. Right now, our national unemployment rate is about 9% for Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. It is 12.1% which is both miserable and also sort of astonishing because Iraq and Afghanistan veterans are a ferociously competent group of Americans. They have spent the last decade doing incredibly difficult, complex, exhausting, tireless, underappreciated work. I'm, I'm not being romantic about this. I mean it in practical terms. This is an impressive professional class of Americans with a lot to offer. They really did do more before 9 a.m. than most of us did all day. And they did it all decade long and they are still doing it. For us as a country, our Iraq and Afghanistan vets are a huge asset. If you are hiring people at your company, you should be looking for them for hiring. That said, they have trouble in the job market, in part because while the people they're competing against for jobs have been working here, veterans have been working and getting great experience, but they have been doing it out of sight and out of mind in, say, landlocked Central Asia. So they are this very impressive group. They are underperforming in the job market, and we know why. And oh, by the way, we do kind of owe them as a country. And so today, the world's least controversial bill came before the Senate, the Vow to Hire Heroes Act of 2011, a tax credit for businesses to hire new veterans. Congress is debating all sorts of different tax credits to hire people. This one is to hire veterans. And it does not even add to the deficit. They, they moved money around from other veterans programs to pay for this thing. This is in the running for least controversial thing in Washington. It is good for the economy. It is good for our souls, frank, frank, frankly. It, it, is, it is practically helpful to people who need practical help in a way that also helps all the rest of us too because it is a jobs program. The vote on this thing today was 94 to 1. The bill passed 94 to 1. The 1 was Senator Jim DeMint. Why is Senator Jim DeMint against this? Is it some cockamamie Jim DeMint Tea Party fetishistic states rights idea about gold bullion or something? No, not in this case. It wasn't anything like that. Jim DeMint's reasoning for voting against this was that veterans don't deserve it. I cannot support this tax credit because I do not believe the government should privilege one American over another when it comes to work. Yeah, those greedy veterans wanting all this special treatment. Greedy veterans expecting everything to be handed to them. Yeah, happy Veterans Day, Senator DeMint. I would salute you, but the way I want to is not something that's allowed on television. Almost makes me want to sit on my hands.